Welcome to another Tutu tutorial. Today, we'll show you how to integrate ads into your apps and games as part of the Super SDK integration process. You may recall that many in-app advertisements available to Western users are blocked in China. To solve this monetization issue, it is necessary to use local advertising tools. All of our partners have access to our Super SDK package, which allows the integration of video, interstitial, and banner ads. Data mining and local social networking features are also included, while a recommended ad strategy, a demo project, and a demo APK can also be found inside the reference folder of the Super SDK. To begin, head over to the download section of the Partner Resources portal, select Freemium with Ads, and download the appropriate Super SDK package depending on whether you're using Unity or Android. For this demonstration, we'll be using Unity. Once you extract the file, you'll find four folders, Document, Key Store, Reference, and SDK. Import the Unity package into your Unity project. If your Unity project already contains an Android manifest.xml file, you'll need to combine both contents rather than replacing the existing one. Next, open up the XML file, which can be found inside the Android folder, and replace these sections with your package name. For this demonstration, I'll be using GoGo Football. To call an add interface, you'll need to add some codes to your script. First, make reference to com.app2d.add. Second, type in app2dadds.getInstanceBrackets.setListener brackets. This will configure the callback listener. Third, type in app2dadds.getInstanceBrackets in init brackets. This is needed to initialize the add calling method, so it must be called before any of the add's methods are called. Fourth, Type in app to the ads .get instance brackets .video ads brackets. This allows the player to trigger the video ad by clicking the button inside the app. And likewise, to trigger interstitial and banner ads, type in these codes. All of the callback methods are inside the app to the ads.cs file, so partners just need to put the game logic inside the corresponding callback methods. The video ads load success callback is triggered when the video ads have successfully been loaded, whereas the video ads callback is triggered when the player has finished watching the video ad, and the reward logic should be placed here. The remaining codes are part of the ad calling interface, so you don't need to change anything here. Now that you have integrated our SDK into your app, you can generate a new APK and use the 2t.keystore file provided in the keystore folder of the Super SDK. The password for this is app2d at app2d.com. Select app2t as the alias and type in the password again. And please note that the target API level cannot be lower than 26. When you test the new APK, a test mode message will be shown when the initialization interface is called. Likewise, video, interstitial, and banner ads will be shown when the respective interfaces are called. And finally, Another test mode message will pop up when the video ads callback method is received. So once you have successfully tested out the new APK, you can submit it to us through the portal. Please also prepare a simple text file indicating the ads trigger points in your app in order to help us verify whether the ads have been called correctly. Please contact us regarding any technical difficulties, and we look forward to receiving your projects.